Welcome to Amosmith.com. In today's lesson, we're going to start a new series in the advanced rifle and handgun. This one is going to be on cartridge conversion. The cartridge we're going to be converting today is going to be we're going to take a 30 out six, and when we're done with it, it's going to be a 308. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. It's really easy, but you're going to need some tools to do it. Okay, the tools you're going to need, you're going to need a full length resizing die, and it cannot be a Lee. It has to be either a Redding or an RCBS, or something that has a, um, a threaded in decapping pin and expander ball. You're going to need your lubrication pad, and I'll tell you why. You're going to need a power drill. And I prefer to use the Lee um, trimming kit. It's, believe it or not, faster and more efficient. And a new tool. You're going to need a neck turning tool. And the reason is, when you convert a 308, or convert a 30 out 6 to a 308, um, it shortens the case quite a bit, therefore the neck ends up being thicker and when you see the bullet into it, it may not chamber some rifles. So we're going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we need to do is insert our show holder into the ram. Make sure it's facing about 7 o'clock. Makes it easier to insert and extract the brass. Now, the reason why we need to use a threaded die like this RCBS one here is, and the lead dies, they're held in with a friction collet. This is held in with a um, threads. And when you're pulling the case over the expander ball um, on the lead, it'll just pull the whole decapping assembly right out. And on this one, um, it'll stay put. So what you want to do is insert your die. And we're going to about halfway down. <clears throat> There's a couple ways of doing this. I'm going to show you two, two different ways. The first way is doing it incrementally, which means you will partially reform the case, advance it, and keep going. That's one way of doing it, and the other way is just um, ramming it all the way through. The reason why we're starting with a 308, or converting the 30 out 6 to a 308, doesn't um, require a whole lot of surgery to the case. And some of the other conversions I do with the 30 out 6 we'll need to use several different types of dies and several different caliber dies in order to achieve what we want. Um, the reason why we're using the lubrication pad is because if you use too much lubricant on the bullet, what you'll get are oil dents and wrinkles on side on the shoulder here and that can be a problem especially under fire forming it can cause splits and you will end up wasting some time I'm going to show you how to do this the right way and this is the surest way of doing this without losing uh, brass you will still lose some brass but this will help minimize that okay one of the first things you're going to need to do is keep some your case loop kind of handy. <clears throat> you want to take your your decapping assembly out. You want to put a generous drop a case loop just on the expander ball. And this makes it a little easier when extracting the case out. <clears throat> What will happen sometimes if you don't do that, it will overstress the case. You can sometimes either split the case or you can actually um, tear the neck off altogether. Now the reason why we use the lubrication pad is it puts on the lubrication extremely evenly across the entire case. Puts it on the lubrication pad and just roll it across. you feel it should have a nice tacky feeling to it.
Okay, I have the first case inside the shell holder. We're going to do this incrementally first, and then we're going to do just a straight through. Um, depending on your press, you want to do this. Now, the lead press will sometimes um, not so much give you trouble, but since it's cast aluminum, it, it, you don't want to overstress it. This being a, an RCBS, it's a little more sturdier, and um, it can take a lot more uh, pressure. Okay, here we go. Run it up until you feel it reach the end of the die. You'll notice we only size it down to about here. We'll just give it about a full good turn. We'll keep turning it about a full turn each time. And don't worry, you're not losing any lubricant. You're just transferring it from the case to the die. Now I feel the shoulder making contact with the um, the shoulder sizing part of the die. Now the real work begins. You will notice as we go down, the neck will gradually get longer. Okay. As it gets longer, you will see why this is a fairly simple process. However, it's only as simple as you make it. If you over lube the case, you will end up with oil damps up and down the thing and you have to fire form it out. You have to fire form out some stuff on here anyway. I'm already getting some minor dance on here. As you see the dance slowly form. Yep, the primer just popped out. We're almost there. Um, when the primer pops out on something like this you know you're pretty close. Let's see what we got. And as I was saying, when the oil dents show up, the oil is usually still on top of the shoulder. You just wipe it off with your fingers like that. There we go. Okay, it's really funny looking. The neck is extremely long. And it makes a good conversation piece you want to blow somebody's mind, but we need to trim this. All right. That's the incremental way. Now I'm going to show you the straight through way. It's a little faster. Don't Remember, don't overdo the lubricant. These are once fired cases, by the way, I picked up at the range. Boom, it's done. When this whole entire neck goes back over the expander ball, it makes it a little gives it a little more resistance. That's why we lubricate the expander ball. I'm gonna do another one on a full through. We already know. The neck needs to be done a little bit. If you want to lubricate the neck, you can just drag it down the, uh, the lube pad. As it goes up, the lubricant should wipe itself off on the expander ball. If you go down, the armor pops out. Another 30 out 6 formed a 308. All right, now we go to the other steps. First one is trimming. The second one is neck turning. 